Hi guys, welcome back to Bright Society. I'm Rebecca and this is Laura and today we are bringing you our top 10 hen party games. So we try to pick out ones that we think are maybe on the classier end of things. So maybe the sort of more, maybe more PG tame so games. If you've got the older relatives. Yes. Mums, mother-in-law. Yes, mother-in-law's to be present that you want to be able to kind of keep it at a certain level that you could play. But by all means, most of these can be spiced up if you <laughs> want them to be. And also they're not drinking based games. So again, can okay. be adapted, yeah. but just as a premise, <laughs> PG, non-drinking, can be played by anyone, <laughs> basically. So with that in mind. So number one, the probably classic hen party game, Mr. and Mrs. or Mrs. Equivalent. Yes. Uh, so this is where you, before the hen party, maybe a member of the bridal party will email, contact the groom or other party who's not going to be there uh, to ask them a list of questions. And then on the day, evening, whatever it is, um, you pose the same questions to the bride-to-be. Um, and kind of you have to see if their answers match and it can be funny if, um, if they don't. <laughs> <laughs> and I, you were telling me about the way a friend of yours did it. Yeah. I, I like this, this idea. I mean, this is kind of next level. Yeah, and, uh, total a commitment. A bit more effort is um, the groom in this case actually filmed himself going through the questions and answering and doing kind of a running commentary the entire time. So at the hen party, one of the bridesmaids was in charge of pressing play and pause on the video um, to give his answers and then the bride's answers as well. And it was just a really nice way. And it felt just very kind of inclusive and he was mm. there but not there. And mm. there were tears. I mean, it was quite Aww. emotional. <laughs> so, I like that. Yeah. I think that's, yeah, it's a good touch to that game. Um, so I think the other classic out there that, that I did at my hen party as well is the uh, toilet paper dresses. Yeah. So you're in two teams and you have a good stash of toilet paper ready to go, <laughs> hopefully cheap toilet paper and like recycle, yeah. like as in, <laughs> not that you've already used, okay. just to be clear. <laughs> I'm just trying to be a bit more environmental about it. Um, yeah, you're in two teams like and within those teams you each like have the person who's gonna be the model who's gonna get toilet papered essentially <laughs> and you the idea is who which team can create the best looking dress out of toilet yeah. paper so and then there's a judge who picks right perhaps it's the bride to be who chooses if she's not part of it or somebody somebody's yeah. nominated nominated to be the, judge, an impartial yeah. judge <laughs> to be the winning team um okay number three uh, pin the trunk on the hunk. So an adaptation of the classic pin the tail on the donkey. Mm -hmm. You can get a picture of a random hunk or maybe a photo of the groom if you want to go to that kind of effort. <laughs> and then in... Yeah. And you can just buy these things. Yes, so. yeah, you could just buy a kit. Um, and then it's generally kind of stickers. Um, yeah, blindfold. Blindfold the participants, and they have to get it closest to somewhere on this picture. Um, so yeah, so if it's stickers with trunks on, they have to get it nearest nether regions. <laughs> <laughs> so that's probably at the the least PG one yeah. that we're, we're covering, but we thought it's still pretty pretty safe. Yeah. Um, okay, so next we've got who's who. So this is basically where like. The, the hens that are all there, they, when they come, they write like a fact about themselves and the bride basically has to like guess who that is. So obviously maybe like funny or more humorous, so obviously the facts are better, but yeah, let's see if I can So I guess better. with this, you can either go for an obvious one if you want the bride to get it right, or you can maybe write a more obscure fact. Really test her. Yeah, and just see how well she does actually know kind of the the people she's invited to the hen party. Mm -hmm. I've also seen an adaptation on that variant on that where you can write like a memory, like a shared yeah, memory, yes. and they have to kind of try and remember who who that was with. But in fact, I went to one of the hen parties. I went to it was kind of along these lines, and we were asked to bring three items 
that I sort of associate. Yeah, so the bride would associate with you, and again, she had to guess who, uh, okay. whose bag was who. Uh, I quite like that one because I I actually didn't really think the um, shared memory one worked very well at the particular empire oh, okay. where I experienced it, just because like it was very quick. She's like, oh, that's you. And, uh, like, and if it wasn't the Wendell's Lee very funny stories or whatever, and so, yeah, I, I think maybe the, uh, that, the one you said might actually okay. be more interesting. Um, so next, again, this could be easily adaptable to be a bit more risque, maybe, um, or not, is hen party dares. So you can, you have dares that each member of the hen party can do so it could be for example they have to impersonate the groom mm. or they have to sing a song from a wedding film a wedding theme <laughs> song or pick or a like scene reenact yeah. a scene from dirty dancing or something <laughs> yeah there, something maybe. like that so something that maybe people wouldn't necessarily want to do yeah but, but would, would be amusing yeah yeah so they just have to like complete it at some point during the night or day yeah. whatever it is that you're doing um, and I suppose I'm from Dirty Dancing and things. Um, wedding film charades or charades, how are you like to say it? Um, so obviously, like writing down like songs and things that are wedding related. If you want to throw that into into a hat, and so people pull them out in teams. And this could be quite a nice icebreaker as well if people mm. um, don't necessarily know each other because you might have friends from different groups um, all coming to the same hen party. So it's kind of a fun. The pressure's yeah. off because you've got something else to concentrate on, a good way for people to bond. Yeah, it's a way of being able to like, yeah, interact with yeah. other people without having to be like, so who are you, where did you come from, how do you know the bride? <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, it kind of gets past that. No, it's good. Uh, so next up we've got true or false. So um, someone's been in charge and has written a list of facts, or are they, about the couple and your guests have to say whether they're true or false or not. So kind of just a quiz, uh, again, seeing how well you know the couple, mm. um, just kind of a fun game. Some people might think they really know the couple kind of really well and then actually they don't know what their fa favourite film is or they don't know <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> things like that. So. Yeah, or you do it like where you've got like one truth and then like two lies or three lies or something and you have to pick a, uh, which yes, out of them is yeah. the truth kind of thing. Like I think it's a there's a show that's based on that concept, I feel like. Well, I haven't seen that, I don't think. There is. Yeah, I'm sure there is. Yeah. <laughs> My husband can tell me what it is, but... You know. I'm sure you've heard the truth. <laughs> <laughs> I like what you yes. did there. Well, well, well. <laughs> and next up um, is kind of like Play-Doh Pictionary. So again, two teams and there's, you know, a, an item that you need to then make out of the play-doh which is wedding related so maybe you have to make a church or whatever and then whichever team gets us first gets the point and so on and so forth and you know make prizes get things out like or like play all the games and let them like top the scores through the night get it really oh, kind that's of that's a good idea yeah. and have an <laughs> ultimate prize but, yeah. uh, so another kind of game that get on chatting is celebrity heads so again you can make this wedding theme so celebrities from kind of wedding films or famous brides I don't know. Uh, yeah or oh, like you could have like maybe Vera Wang or something even, yeah like, dress kind of designers just designers, like. everything kind of connected to weddings mm -hmm. um, write it on maybe like a post-it note and you stick yeah. it on your forehead well on your neighbour's forehead not on your own because you'd, oh, yeah. you'd know okay. what it was uh, I'd write it go like, yeah. mm. And you have to ask, is it yes or no questions? Yeah, you can, yeah that you can respond yes or no to. To try and guess who's the slow on tears on your forehead. Yep. Yeah, I think that could be quite fun. I've yeah. never actually done that one, but no. I think that could be quite fun. I think I've done that not yeah. wedding related, but right. I've done that for just general people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and our last one is not necessarily a game as such, but um, advice cards. So you can like buy these like with prompts on from like Ginger Ray and those yeah. kind of like party suppliers and things. We've seen some really cute ones. Um, but yeah, well they just sort of have, you can make your own, like the start of sentences. So like my best, uh, like a date idea or um, always remember to do X or whatever. Like, so you finish the sentence for the bride's like 
and marriage advice or mm-hmm. just I know it's kind of like, maybe like keeping the man happy or like or, or the woman happy or white or whoever it is uh, all these kind of things yeah. like you can adapt but then so she's got kind of something to keep from the night as well afterwards and sort of probably look at after you know the following day and things so it should be quite sweet and nice for her just a memento yeah yeah yeah. Well, we hope um, you enjoyed that and got some good ideas. Let us know if you've played any of these games at parties or if you're going to play any of these or if you've got any other ideas. Yeah, um, share those fun. Yeah, share <laughs> those in the uh, comments below so other people can get some inspiration. Mm. Um, give the video a like. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.